Luke, the Northern Blues dropped their first game for the year at the weekend, and yet it was a fair, fairly meritorious performance against a quality opposition team. Yeah, look, as, as you said, Port are a quality team. Um, you know, they came with the will that they wanted to beat us and, and their intensity and work rate was, was really good. Um, we were probably a little bit off the pace for the first quarter and then, you know, I spoke to the boys at quarter time and asked them to lift their intensity and their work rate and they did that and they, it was a credit to them that they got themselves back into the game. Um, you know, we were point up at half time and then, you know, the first probably five to ten minutes of the third quarter or even a little bit longer of that third quarter we were in for, in for it for a while but then we dropped away a little bit and then obviously they ran over the top of us in the end. You had mentioned that the barrier of the yardsticks at the moment of the teams that you've played to date. Yeah, definitely. Um, they've been a little bit patchy with their form, but they've been thereabouts in a few of their games. You know, they beat Box Hill in their second game and they're a good quality team as well. So, you know, they had some good form coming in. They, obviously, they did lose to Frankston, but um, as I said, they had some good form coming in. But yeah, they definitely took it right up to us and a credit to them. Um, your forward six, so I think, was Buckley, Casbolt, Laidler, Menzel, Mitchell and Waite. Notwithstanding weight, which of those players do you think might be pushing for a senior call-up? Are they close? Oh, look, yeah, the guys are going OK at the moment. Um, you know, they're just all, like Jeremy Laidler's playing forward for the first time this year and he's played a couple of games there now, but you know, he's still starting to learn the role. But, you know, they, they worked OK together on the weekend. Um, you know, all the guys hopefully in the next few weeks are starting to push up. But, you know, Levi Caswell played a little bit more time in the ruck and a bit forward and and did a couple of okay things, but we just need to continue his consistent performance. Same as Dylan Buckley, you know, he started to get going again this week. Um, and, you know, um, Luke Mitchell was looking lively early and he was moving around uh, really well and hitting up at the footy, but all those guys have just got to continue that uh, over the next couple of weeks and then hopefully, you know, they can start putting their hand up to uh, get selected in the side. So you're saying probably at least a fortnight, maybe three away from being in serious contention? Yeah, look, obviously... Um, Ideally, we'd like to throw them up straight away. But, yeah, they're, they're all working on their games and, and trying to improve them from week in and week out. So, you know, from the weekend's performance, um, they were OK. Um, but, yeah, they can still improve on their games and, and hopefully that'll help them at selection. And up the ground, you would have been happy with the performances of Tom Bell and, and Davey Yellard? Yeah, look, the guys were really good in there. Um, you know, Tommy Bell's uh, inside work was terrific. Um, I think he had seven or eight clearances on the day. And same as Davey Allard, his work rate around the stoppages, but then also his pressure to tackle and chase, and that was terrific. So, you know, those guys kept us in the game. Um, Tommy Bell, I think, kicked the first uh, two goals in the first quarter to keep us alive and then kicked another one late. So, you know, the, the work rate of those guys, along with the other mids that were in there, um, you know, kept us in the game. You confront the Zebras, I think, on Sunday at Trevor Barker Beach Oval in Sandringham. What can you expect from the opposition you confront then? Yeah, look, they had a really good win over um, Werribee on the weekend. Um, I think they got up by 10 goals, I think. And, you know, they had some really good performances there. They've been playing pretty good footy throughout the whole year. Um, it was their first win on the weekend. But, you know, I've only quickly had a look at their game. But, you know, they're, they're a really good side. They used the ball really well. Um, you know, they had some really good quality midfielders going through there in, in uh, Farron Ray. So he got a lot of the footy. So, you know, another great challenge for our boys to come up against a quality team that's in good form. Just on Whitey, um, would you want to hang on him for another week or are you pushing him up? What's the situation there? Yeah, look, Whitey's obviously a quality player and he's great to have on your side. You know, he brings good leadership to, to the Northern Blues when he was down there and conducted himself really well with his attitude. So, you know, it would be great to have a Whitey in your team again every week. But, you know, obviously the main goal is to get him back into the Carlton team and whether that's this week, next week, three or four weeks. But we'll just keep doing what we can do for him to get him into that AFL team as good as we can. And a final one, Luke, on the uh, the battle so far for yourself. How, how are you finding uh, the role? Are you enjoying it? And what are the challenges you've, that you've confronted so far? Yeah, really enjoying the role. Um, love working uh, here at Carlton and obviously having a fair bit of time with the Carlton boys here that are playing with me really helps the, the position I'm in um, down at the VFL. And, and the kids we got down at the Northern Blues are terrific kids. Great bunch of blokes. The culture down there and their attitude to want to succeed this year is terrific. So, yeah, really enjoying the role at this point in time. And, you know, the challenges for me are just a little bit of time management. Obviously, being here all day at Carlton and then going and training the Northern Blues three nights a week. But, you know, really enjoying it and loving it being down there. And as I said, the, the culture and their attitude down there is just a great environment to come back to. Um, obviously, being here all day and three nights a week. And then the, the spirit that they put in on the weekend is terrific. Thanks for that, Luke. Hope the boys can rebound 
the way they shoot on Sunday and uh, let's hope the Blues come back with the four points. Yeah, no worries. Thanks.